you know, I've always been fascinated with the ocean since I was little. And then I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do, but I know I had a, a childhood book and I wrote to my mom that I wanted to be a marine biologist with poor spelling uh, when I was six. I was really fortunate. My, my parents were uh, incredibly supportive of, of anything I showed any inkling of interest in. I never had a doubt that women could do it, but I think that was because of the people, starting with my parents on up, that really never gave me any indication that I shouldn't <laughs> feel like I could do it. I am a microbial ecologist slash geobiologist. We are surrounded by microorganisms. They're really critical for all of the major geochemical cycles on the planet. We know very little about them. 99% of them still are totally undiscovered. This is really a rich area that has been limited by technology. And so all of those things kind of came together in my pursuit of studying microbes in the ocean and also my love of weird extreme life and um, organisms that can live without oxygen. Uh, so this took me to the deep sea, to these extreme environments like methane seeps and hydrothermal vents where not only microorganisms are the, the champions of changing the chemistry, but oftentimes they form these really exciting partnerships with one another to do even new types of chemistry that neither organism can do on their own. And so there's no greater you know, motivation to, to be able to learn about these, these microorganisms than to think about how they're changing the planet to make it viable for us. I feel like communication is, is key to this. I'm, I'm becoming much more of a convert in not just being a scientist in the lab and, and talking to fellow scientists, but really sharing information with the world and trying to figure out how to communicate in the most effective way to get people as excited as we are. And I think if people love the world as much as we can share it through our eyes and our experience, then they will in turn also try to make the right kinds of choices and talk to the politicians and all of these things that need to happen to, uh, to really make change that's, that's critical uh, at this time.